everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I live in western New York. Today was a very warm day. I wore short sleeves today because it was so warm. Now today I'm going to use my notebook news. I found that that works really good for me because I have a lot of little things that I think about. And this way I can make it all into one video because if I were to talk about one of the things on there, it might be so short, it'd be like a minute and a half long, probably. And then I'd be all done, but I'm not gonna do that. So it's a good day for singing the news. It's a good day for shooing the blues. It's a good day, tra la 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 la. It's a good day from morning to night. I hope it was a good day for you too. Okay, first on the agenda for the notebook news is the topic about lost lost things lost topics <laughs> and lost things okay now the, the lost topics you search your brain and forever and ever it's just like when you're looking for things in your home when you lose something you can't find it and you search and search how many hours do we waste searching for things in my house a lot of hours are wasted because I don't find it or if I do find it I'll say oh so that's where you are when I'm not even looking for you but I do find things that way um, another thing was I want to tell you how I ruined jello when I told my daughter this, she goes how in the world did you ruin jello well it was possible I ruined jello my brother used to laugh he used to say I couldn't even boil water and um, I guess it was true in a way, but I can boil water. What it was is I wanted to make jello this one day and I wanted to try the ice cube method. If you've ever looked on the box of jello, there's an ice a quick method where you can do the ice cubes. So what I did is I put the hot water in the jello mixture, stirred it, but I didn't wait for the crystals to, to dissolve. Instead I just added the ice cubes. So when the jello got hard, we had speckled jello. And so you were eating the jello with these little bursts of crystals in your mouth. So I ruined jello. The next topic was how can you ruin coffee cake? I did that too. I ruined coffee cake and the dog wouldn't even eat it. That's pretty bad when the dog won't eat it. And what it was is the coffee cake recipe. It was a homemade coffee cake. And I was making it and I didn't know the difference between baking powder and baking soda. Oh boy, and I put baking soda in there, a lot of baking soda. It was so bad that the dog wouldn't eat it, so I ended up throwing it over the bank and hoped that, that the birds would eat it. They probably didn't eat it either. I don't know whatever happened to it. It just disintegrated with the rain. Um, I have a question for you. What do you call when you go to the cinema or the movie? Which one do you call it? Right. I, I usually call it movie. I'm going to go to the movie. I haven't been to the movies in years, but that's what I would say. I would say I'm going to the movie. I asked my daughter that, and she says, well, in um, Britain, they probably say cinema, but here we say movie, and so we'll see. I said, I will ask the question. What do you say, cinema or movie? Um, what else was it I going to say? Oh, geez, I'm coming to the end of this. I didn't have many topics this time. So the next question I had was, do you call it pop or soda? Now, in sign language, you call them both. I sometimes say I would like a pop, but I don't drink pop because pop is burny. I feel it. it the fizz is burny. And I don't drink soda. Soda to me would be like soda water, and that would be just as bubbly and just as burny. But in sign language, you go soda and pop. Soda, like the bubbles coming up, and pop. That's how you do it in sign language. So soda pop. But do you call it soda? Or do you call it pop? That's the question of the day. There's two questions. So let me know in the comments. And... I will be surprised, I'm sure, that it, maybe it'll be half and half. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, I, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you had a great day and a nice weather, too. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.
I said bye. <laughs> I just said goodbye. Okay, goodbye.